Welcome to Goalie's PIP Academy. Every day you probably travel on something that took thousands of hours, dozens of giant machines, and teams of skilled workers to build. What is this amazing thing? It's the road beneath your feet. The streets, highways, and bridges that connect our communities are actually incredible engineering projects that require careful planning, powerful machines, and precise science to build correctly. So buckle up as we explore the amazing process that turns dirt and gravel into the smooth highways and streets we use every single day. Building a road isn't as simple as just laying down some pavement and calling it a day. The process of road construction follows a series of careful steps that have been refined through decades of engineering experience. It all begins long before any construction trucks arrive at the site. First, engineers and planners need to decide exactly where the road will go, a process called route selection. They use special tools like GPS systems and surveying equipment to mark exactly where the road will be built. Once the route is selected and marked, it's time for the construction trucks to roll in. And this is where things get really exciting because road building requires some of the biggest, most powerful machines on earth. The first step in actual construction is clearing and grubbing, removing trees, bushes, and other vegetation from the path of the new road. For this job, powerful bulldozers and excavators get to work. After clearing the land, the next step is earthwork, moving dirt to create a level surface for the road. If the land has hills, they'll need to be cut down. If there are low spots, they'll need to be filled in. Motor graders, sometimes called road graders, have a long blade between their front and rear wheels that can precisely scrape and level the soil. Dump trucks bring in additional soil and gravel for areas that need to be built up. Once the dump material is in place, compactors roll over it to pack it down tight. These machines look a bit like giant rolling pins, and their job is to squeeze out air and make the soil dense and solid. After the soil is properly shaped and compacted, it's time to add the foundation layers of the road. The first layer is usually called the sub-base. It's made of larger stones and gravel that provide drainage and support. On top of that goes the base course, which is made of crushed stone mixed with sand. These foundation layers are super important. They're like the bones of the road, providing strength and stability. Without a good foundation, even the best pavement on top would quickly crack and fail. Time for our first quiz. Are you ready? What is the main purpose of compactors in road construction? A to dig up trees, B, to mix concrete, C, to make soil dense, D, to paint lines on the road. Is your little one working on finding their words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early learners. Our goal, to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. Interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this one to support our learning, and our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace, and Goalie is here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America to support their children's communication skills. Visit getgoalie.com today and use the code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's getgoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech. If you said C, to pack down soil and make it dense, then well done. That's right. Let's talk about asphalt first, since it's the most common road surface in many countries. Asphalt is a mixture of small stones, sand, and a black, sticky substance called bitumen that holds everything together. The bitumen is made from crude oil, which is why new asphalt has that distinctive smell. Asphalt arrives at the construction site in special trucks called hot mix trucks. These trucks have insulated beds that keep the asphalt hot because it needs to be hot to be workable. If it cools down too much, it becomes hard and can't be spread properly. The hot asphalt is dumped into an amazing machine called an asphalt paver. 
The paver has a hopper at the front that receives the hot mix, a conveyor system that moves it to the back, and a screed that spreads it evenly across the width of the road. The screed is heated to prevent the asphalt from sticking to it and can be adjusted to lay down just the right thickness of asphalt. Behind the paver come the roller compactors again, but these are different from the ones used for the soil. Asphalt rollers are usually smooth drum rollers that press the hot asphalt into a dense, smooth surface. For concrete roads, the process is a bit different. Concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, gravel, and water that hardens through a chemical reaction rather than by cooling. Concrete roads are more expensive to build than asphalt roads, but they typically last longer, sometimes 30 years or more without major repairs. Concrete is delivered to the site in mixer trucks, those trucks with the big rotating drums you've probably seen on the road. The rotation keeps the concrete from hardening before it's poured. After the concrete is placed, it needs time to cure. This is the chemical hardening process that can take several days or even weeks to fully complete. Time for our second quiz. Ready? True or false? Asphalt needs to be kept hot during installation because it hardens as it cools down. If you said true, then well done, that's right. With the road surface completed, the project moves into its final phases. Safety features and road markings need to be added to make the road usable and safe for drivers. Special trucks with paint sprayers apply the familiar white and yellow lines that mark lanes and road edges. Other important safety features include guardrails, which are installed by crews using post driving machines that hammer metal posts deep into the ground. Signage crews install speed limit signs, warning signs, and directional markers. Engineers are constantly developing new materials and techniques to make roads safer, longer lasting, and more environmentally friendly. The cost of building a road might surprise you. A basic two-lane rural road can cost around two to three million dollars per mile, while a major multi-lane highway in an urban area might cost 10 to 20 million dollars per mile, or even more. The most expensive road ever built is the Boston Big Dig, which cost over 24 billion dollars. That's enough money to buy about 100 million bicycles. Once a road is built, the work isn't over. Roads need regular maintenance to stay safe and functional. Cracks need to be sealed, potholes filled, and surfaces eventually repaved. In fact, many countries spend more on maintaining existing roads than on building new ones. Time for our last quiz. Ready? Multiple choice question. What is the most expensive road ever built? A. Boston Big Dig B. Hoover Dam Road C. Golden Gate D. Pacific Coast If you said A. Boston Big Dig, then well done. That's right. So the next time you travel down a smooth highway or street, Remember the incredible amount of planning, powerful machines, and skilled work that went into creating it. They're not just paths from one place to another. They're the physical connections that link our communities together and make modern life possible. And now that you know how they're built, maybe you'll see the roads you travel every day in a whole new way. Is your little one working on finding their first words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early language learners. Our goal is to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. First is, we have interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this to support learning. And lastly, our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace, and at Goalie, we're here to provide that extra boost our system has already helped thousands of families across America support their kids' communication needs. Visit GetGoalie.com and use code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's GetGoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech.